so that we're just hanging over the edges on the sides and then we'll try and get equal amounts overhanging on the ends and once you think you're pretty much square which I think I am a little bit of double check then holding the bracket so that you don't move it all sometimes you move it at this point you have to just do it again that's when I pull this away and that's why I leave it on it's not that's why I leave it on there, so it keeps you from it keeps you from doing the you know from it sticking. But then you can also just pull it away quite easily once you've finished that point, once you've got to that point. Mm -hmm. And then double check that you haven't moved. If everything's still all lined up, and it seems to be so, then you'll just hold in the corner brackets. In fact, I'll do I'll do the ends first. Holding the corner brackets, you'll push it down until they drop out. There we go. So now the adhesive tape has stuck to the back of the gallery wrap, and what we'll do is take these away. And that has us with. everything nicely in place. I'll give it another push just to make sure. This is going to be relatively accurate now. Um, see, I've got, to be, I've got to be, you know what, sometimes, because I'm packing this, they get a little bit um, sticky, and my fleece is sticking to the corner here. That's not great, um, but I, I didn't know I'd done that. So what I'll do now is I'll extend the blade a little bit more, because you need to go past the edge of here and we trim off the edge and when you get to the ends here you want to come in just slightly being careful not to cut your finger but angle it in just slightly you see how I've angled that mm -hmm. and then we'll come in from we'll do the sides as well and then just trim it in slightly and then from here kind of where if you draw an imaginary line you don't want to go past the corner a little bit in from the corner We'll make another cut, and we'll cut out at 45 degrees. And then at that point, you can actually take this and lift it up and stick it. The reason we cut this in slightly is so that it doesn't overhang here. And then we'll do the same thing, where we keep it taut, stick it to it. And then you can give it a spin around, continue to trim. Be careful not to trim the wood. Sometimes I, I trim in and take a little bit of the wood with me. And that's not ideal. 